Hey guys, it's Lynette Sine. Today I want to talk to you guys about matte eyeshadows. They can be a little bit intimidating because they are really pigmented and there's less room for error when you create certain looks. So I'm going to be using the Meet Matrimony eyeshadow palette. So there's so many beautiful colors in here and I want to create a really fun smoky eye that I have on for you here in this video. But um, yeah, let's first talk about what the difference is between matte eyeshadows and shimmery eyeshadows. Shimmer shadows contain different particles that reflect the light, so they're really beautiful and if not overdone can make you look a lot younger. So while this is a great effect and we love them, we do have to be careful because if not applied correctly, they can kind of settle in fine lines and kind of bring more attention to them, which we want to stay away from. So this is the main difference between shimmer shadows and matte shadows. With matte shadows you can kind of blend them a little bit easier and they don't highlight your imperfections. Matte shadows have no sheen, but they're really silky still and they really just melt into your skin when you use the right primer. So I'm going to create a look for you today using all matte shadows. One of the first steps that you want to do before applying any eyeshadow is always use a primer. And I'm just going to apply that to my lid. And you want to make sure this is also blended out really well so you don't get any streaks or any sort of weird clumps. So for today's look, I'm going to use four different eyeshadows from this palette. I'm going to start out with Matte Lynn, then I'm going to go in with Matte Lopez, and then Matte Reed, and also Matte Ahmed. So we're going to create a really fun, neutral, matte smoky. So starting off with Matte Lynn, I'm going to just apply that kind of all over the lid, and then I'm going to, instead of brush it back and forth, I'm actually going to pat it into my lid so that it's really grabbing onto the primer that we already placed. So now I'm going to go in with Matte Lopez and I'm going to start building out some dimension right here in the crease. And the same thing for this, I'm just patting into the lid rather than brushing it back and forth. And you notice how there's not any harsh lines because of how I'm patting it. I haven't even blended yet, so we still are going to go in and blend, but this just looks really nice and it's um, that perfect transition color. Then you can go ahead and grab your fluffy brush and we're just going to kind of buff out to the top. So now we're gonna go in with Matte Reed. So I'm concentrating on the lash line and we're gonna build kind of a little V section right in this area. And as you can see, that's not perfectly blended so we don't wanna leave it like that. So you do wanna go in with your other brush that has a little bit more wider bristles and they're a little bit more loose at the top and that's what's going to help perfectly blend everything together. I am gonna go in with a smaller brush like this. You're gonna have a little bit more control of where it goes and just grab a little bit, we don't need too much. And we're gonna start concentrating it in the lash line and then pulling it out just a little bit. So you can see it's starting to build that smoky eye. And then you can go back in with your blender brush and just start blending it. And it's really buildable, so you can keep going if you like it to be a really dramatic smoky eye, if you want more of a natural, wearable daytime look. So I want to carry some of the smoky eye underneath and I'm gonna use this same brush, but I'm actually gonna go in with Matte Reed, which is that dark kind of cool brown color and I'm going to bring that underneath. And I'm using very little pressure because you can really build these up. Then you can go in with the dark color, Matte Ahmed, and just smoke out the corner again a little bit but that's pretty much all you need. To complete the look, of course, you can add a winged liner if that's your vibe, or you can add um, some eyeliner in your waterline and it really brings everything together. And then of course, a mascara and you're all set to go. All right guys, that's it for this look. Thanks so much for watching. As always, you can check the description box below on how to get your hands on this eyeshadow palette. And I will see you guys next time.